everybody, uh, it's day two of our video diary in uh, the Jekyll and Hyde rehearsal room and today we're talking and thinking a little bit about two characters who are in our play adaptation who aren't actually in the original book. So they are Burlington Bertie and Champagne Charlie, played by Jordan and Georgia. So uh, do you want to tell us a bit about who these weird characters are? So um, I'm Burlington Bertie and Bertie is a let's say a musical double act, part of a musical double act. Mm. So uh, Georgia is... Champagne Charlie. Champagne Charlie. The other half of the, the double act. The other half of the double act, yes. <laughs> and basically we are a la bit of light entertainment in the whole Jekyll and Hyde. But we allow, we are the framing device that, gives, that allows us to tell the story and become different characters as well. We're the narrators, basically. Um, but yeah, they're really crazy characters. So we're a sort of a narrative device between and a bridge between um, the Victorian story that we're telling, mm -hmm. so the world of Jekyll and Mr Hyde and of these characters within the novella, mm -hmm. um, but also a bridge to the audience. Yeah. Um, we're a nar narrative device to tell the story in a fun, creative way um, that keeps it a bit light-hearted and in a way it's interesting our juxtaposition um, as music hall characters to the very gothic dark mm. content of the novel um, and so I think those go hand in hand nicely yeah um, yeah it's fun to be able to find the kind of the two sides of the coin of the dark yeah. and then the light and the funny and to be able to kind of build something really atmospheric and then be like let's step away from that for a moment otherwise the pressure can get a bit intense which is of course the duality of Jekyll and Hyde itself mm. Uh, so yeah, no, the light um, and the dark. but of course music calls were around in the Victorian yeah, times absolutely. as well, so it's very much like a, a, a device that was yeah. there at the time as well. And again, the kind of the melodrama and the, mm -hmm. the, the, you know, the music hall would have a funny number and then a tragic song and then a, you know, a creepy magic act, so it's kind of, yeah, part of that yeah. world building, isn't it? Yeah. So we're not only telling the story, but we're kind of giving a bit of a sense of Victorian England, yeah. Victorian Britain. And Champagne Charlie and Burlington Bertie are very much sort of learning the story as they mm -hmm. go along they're telling the story but we're sort of learning it with the audience so it makes us feel very connected to the audience mm -hmm. because we're learning as they are learning mm -hmm. uh, the, the plot um and we're also exploring our relationship and the duality of our, us as well as the duality mm -hmm. of Jekyll and Hyde yeah. um yeah. yeah. So you're you're constantly in contact with the audience, aren't you? There's never a time yeah. where you kind of there's no fourth wall. I mean, we're in the round, so it'd be like four fourth walls, which would be a bit weird. <laughs> yeah. But you're constantly kind of interacting with the audience. Um, what what are you anticipating the joys and the challenges of that will be? So I mean, we're we're basically their mates. <laughs> we're, we're we're on their side. We're trying to trying to tell them. So it's just really the joys of that is is just connecting with the audiences yeah. and really bringing, really getting the story across. Mm. If we can come away at the end and say, oh, they, they got it, they yeah. got, they understood, they, but they had fun as well, obviously. Yeah. yeah, and I think, I mean, the most obvious challenge is we are the narrative device, we're the framing device for the whole story, so if we need to help make them understand the story. Yeah. If they don't uh -huh. know the story, that's our mm. job. Mm. So mm. that is the most challenging thing that we're going to face so as long as we're doing it properly as the sort of narrators yeah. then hopefully it will it will all pay off yes kind of if, if they aren't following you they're lost yes exactly <laughs> basically great lovely um so today we've been playing a little bit with staging some of the more physical sequences so we've been doing a section where uh we're looking at Hyde traveling through the kind of murky london streets um uh, how, how's that been for you to kind of build a physical section and then drop into these really snappy bits of dialogue? It's kind of, it's quite, it's quite yeah. <laughs> patting your head yeah, yeah, time, yeah. Is it? It's a lot to get in your brains. Yeah, no, it's, um, it's about, it was about like literally creating the atmosphere, trying to create the, like the terror, the winding labyrinthine streets of London. I know, yeah, good word, right? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> one just came in there. Um, so yeah, we tried, we've got our sets, um, which we have to obviously carry in the van, so it has to be quite minimal as well. Mm. But it's just about trying to bring that to life, trying to really recreate a, a London scene, if we can do that, and just try and create this claustrophobic atmosphere mm. sometimes. And that was what our task was today, I feel. Mm. But then it's bringing it out and bringing, ah, it's, it's sad, sad moment, like scary moment. Well, hey, we're here, we're out. We're back in musical, we're back in like the double act, 
the back in, trying to bring the audience back in. Not get rid of the terror now. This is all. Oh, it's happy. It's been happy again. Happy. Again. Yeah. I mean, I think today has been the first day of really tackling the light and the dark of the whole our yeah. whole stage adaptation, mm. um, because we've battled with both trying to create horror today <laughs> or create atmospheric horror at least. Yeah. Whilst and also on the other side of the coin, we've done a lot of silly musical comedy really duo stupid, acts stupid really stupid quite stupid, stupid <laughs> stuff to, to, yeah, yeah, today, to yeah. try and create a fun like a lot of fun to the piece yeah. and silliness and stuff that will keep it engaging so it's not all so miserable or dark yeah. and just a really interesting way and we've also just explored thing narrative things of how to tell the story in, in a most in the most productive way yeah. um so we've kind of we've had quite a full-on day of exploring everything yeah mm. amazing um, and then uh, tomorrow we're moving on to look a little bit more at the transformation from Jekyll to Hyde and back again. So there's been some physical work going on with that in the background. But tomorrow we're going to have a first look at how we might do some of the, the potion scenes and the transformation itself. So that's going to be a fun one to look forward to tomorrow. <laughs>